Welcome, welcome. Today I want to share with you a book that I wrote. Before I share with you the book, I want to explain a little bit of the history. Um, I'm someone that's super, super full of imagination. I have so much imagination and, you know, I daydream a lot and I, I, I have a lot of stories in my head. I've only read one novel in my entire life, so my imagination does not come from other people's imaginations and stories and novels. I don't know where it comes from, but um, ever since I was little, I've been making stories in my head. Just, just like, you know, daydreaming. And at one point, I was like, I really like the story that I'm daydreaming about. So I decided to write it down. And this was about, oh my gosh, like 20 years ago. I was literally in my teenage years when I started writing down stories in a little book. But these stories never went too far. And then about 10 years ago, I decided to write a new story just for fun. I, I just started writing and writing and writing and the writing kept on coming. And I was like, okay, I have, you know, 50,000 words written. This is almost close to a novel. So I decided to formulate it into chapters and polishing the story um, and the details and the character build up and stuff like that. I decided to actually write a book and that was my goal. So I just kept on writing and the story just kept flowing out of my hands and uh, it took a good 10 years to write the story only because 10 years ago I started it and then I literally stopped writing for, I don't know, I would say a good five years I stopped writing. And then eventually, a few years ago, I was like, okay, I need to finish this story because it's it keeps lingering in my mind. So I got to get it out, you know? So I decided to finish it. And I did. And I decided to, well, I, I hired an editor to read through and correct the mistakes and you know, let me know if there's any formulation I need to change and sentence and structure and stuff like that. So I hired that editor. And once once that was done, I uh, researched on how to self-publish on Amazon. So, because I didn't want to do the trouble of finding a publisher house. And anyways, I self-published on Amazon in 2016. And obviously when you're self-publisher, you have to do your own marketing, advertising and all that jazz. So I did for about a year. I, I used social media platforms to advertise my book. I didn't sell too much, but you know, whatever. It's a check mark off my bucket list. It's done. I got some good feedback, whatever. If you're gonna read it, cool. If you're not, cool. Uh, if you don't like it, awesome. And if you like it, well, even more awesome. So this is my book. I think I'm going to have to switch the uh, the camera around so you can see this upright. And go. Okay, so this is my book. The Forgotten Realm, The Untold. See my name right here? Uh, it's actually very thin because it's it's uh, this one is a demo uh, whenever you publish self-publish on Amazon you have the option to get de a demo before and this is what they sent me it's actually written very 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 small like it's super small so <laughs> that's why it's a thin book really the book is literally twice the thickness when you buy it yeah about here but yeah that's why it's super thin <laughs> this is a drawing from my friend dominique lacroix she read my book and she was inspired to draw this and it's literally a girl looking out in the horizon to a castle engulfed by 
mist and fog. And in the back, she's sleeping. And the castle is there. So, yeah, I wrote a book. This is actually a thin book because it's a single space, but I've also uh, printed some, well, you have the option to buy it on Amazon that are double space. And so the book becomes thicker. The Forgotten Realm, The Untold. And if you want me to read you the synopsis, I will. Mirabelle June is a young Canadian woman living out her passions in France, pursuing a career in fashion and photography. But when she begins to have dreams about mysterious, handsome men, dreams that are somehow crossing into reality, her entire world is upended. Soon, Mirabelle, her sister, and her friends will be wrapped up in a series of fantastical events that stretch beyond her world and into another, and will find themselves at the center of a millennia-old conflict that threatens the very existence of humankind. So, it's a romance novel, and it's a clean romance novel, I have to emphasize, because I'm a Christian. I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to promote anything that is sinful or dirty, so it is clean novel, but it's a romance. And the romance is not with a human, it's obviously a, almost a supernatural romance. I used a little bit of biblical history in this. Um, if you're familiar with Nephilims, uh, if you're familiar with David and Goliath, well, Goliath was a giant, also known as a Nephilim. And I made a romance between a human and a Nephilim. Now, I know in the Christian community, Nephilims are known to be fallen angels. Rest assured, it's not supportive towards a relationship with a demon or anything like that. It's more of a, it's more of a story between what she's experiencing in her dreams. I don't want to give out too much, but when she sleeps, she meets a, um, a Nephilim in her dreams. And there is a romance that started, but she did not know he was a Nephilim. And in the end, when she finds out that he is, then that's when things start to get complicated. So that's my book. Uh, I would say people have said it's interesting. I do need to, uh, to I don't know, get better at character development because I'm no writer. This, is, was, this was just for fun. So I'm not a professional writer or an author or anything. I do have feedback that it's an interesting story. So it's not a story that you hear that is common, like uh, the romance between vampires or anything. No, it's, it's not a common love story. So, and I have a lot of history in there too, like real history in my family, I mean, in my life and in my family. Like, for example, I am a fashion designer and a photographer, so I use that. Um, anyways, and there's an heirloom, a ring, an heirloom that that is actually real. I have it with me, so I I, I used it in this story. If you want to buy it, if you want to read it, I'll put the link down below. So yeah, thanks for listening, and uh, let me know what you think. Okay, bye.